Hello mga students, this is the second video lecture on our subject accounting information system. So dito sa video lecture na ito, mag-uusapan natin yung accounting information system versus the management information system. AIS versus the MIS. But this is simply a, an overview, no? Nasa overview pa rin tayo overview discussion of what are the subsystems under the AIS and then the subsystems under the MIS. Now, just a recap. Sa unang video lecture, ipinakita ko na po ito sa inyo. Our information system framework here. On a business context, di ba? You will see here that the information system is divided into two. Your accounting information system on the right and then the management information system on the left. However, they were further subdivided sa AIS into three. Your GLFRS, your transaction processing, and then your MRS, the management reporting system. And pagdating naman sa management information system, it was further subdivided into four, the financial management system, the marketing system, the distribution system, and then the human resource system. So let's take a look. Okay? Ito po ay hindi detalyadong look ano, because every chapter in the book of James Hall has a different discussion, has a detailed discussion on the subject matter, on these different subsystems. So this is an overview. Sabi ko nga kanina, ano? Now, oh, ito po ano, yung composition ng ating accounting information system. Okay, this one, this one, and this one. Now, let's talk what, ab uh, what about this three. Ano ba ang purpose nila? So, let's take a look first at the General Ledger Financial Reporting System. O alam naman po ninyo, ano, pag pinag-uusapan natin General Ledger, eto na yung ating mga control accounts, yung mga balances, summary balances no, na ginagamit at pinipick up para makapag-prepare tayo ng financial statements. Therefore, the General Ledger Financial Reporting System produces the traditional financial statements at saka iba pang mga reports na required by law. So, eto po ang purpose nitong GLFRS. Yung transactions, dito po natin yan pinoprocess sa ating TPS. Kaya ang tawag natin sa kanila or sa system na yan ay transaction processing system. Because this one Itong system na ito yung sumusuporta sa daily transactions or sa daily business operations sa pamamagitan ng pagpo-provide ng iba't ibang klase ng mga reports, no? documents and messages for users throughout the organization. So, please take note. Take note of the term because the term is self-serving, self-defining, no? transaction processing system. Okay, now the last, the management reporting system provides naman the internal management. Okay, o, yung management of the company, internal to the organization, kaya sa internal management. No? With special purpose financial reports and information needed for decision making. O, dito naman ano, dito papasok yung management accounting na subject. Business, uh, business budgets, variance analysis, and responsibility reports. Please take note, di ba, yung difference ng financial accounting versus managerial accounting. Because the financial accounting relates to financial reporting to provide a general purpose financial statement. Pero yung organization, yung management, may mga needs din sila. Okay, at yung needs na yon, pwedeng modified reports. And the modified reports, of course, for management reporting, ano, can be catered by this management reporting system. 
Kasi syempre, sa ating financial statements, hindi naman tayo pwedeng mag-provide ng mga forecasts. Ano yung ating mga ano no, financial statements? What can it look like three or five years from now? Although no, the, the template may look the same, however, for financial reporting kasi, we are talking about historical figures, what already happened. Or for management reporting, they may want to look at the budgets or at the forecasted financial statements. No? Variance analysis. O pag variance analysis, comparison ng actual versus our budgets before. And this cannot be provided by the general ledger or FRS. Okay? So kaya kinakailangan, meron din tayong isa pang system for management reporting to provide for their needs, okay, for internal reporting. At etong tatlo na ito ang bumubuo sa ating accounting information system. Okay, so yan po ano, ang subsystems na bumubuo sa ating AIS. Now, pagdating naman po sa management information system, o oh, hindi ko na ulit baba, babasahin na, no? nabasa ko na ito ng ilang beses, Oh, but please take note, I will give a moment no, for you to pause on this para mas ma-absorb nyo or mabalikan nyo ulit ito. So they are the four. Okay. Oh, now, let's talk about this one. Although, when we are talking of management information system, ang pinoproseso kasi nito, okay, sa kabuuan na ano, when we talk of MIS, it processes or non-financial transactions that are not normally processed by traditional accounting information system. So kung may mga ibang mga transactions na hindi kayang or hindi pwedeng i-cater nitong tatlo, dito papasok yung ating management information system. Now, baka tanongin ninyo ako, Sir, for accounting information system, can it process or can it not process non-financial transactions? The answer is, it can process both. Okay? Parehas po yan. Okay? But of course, syempre, for financial reporting, pag mga figures yung kinakailangan natin, uh, di ba, hindi magmamatter yung ating mga non-financial transactions, non-financial events. But it caters, no? Na-accommodate, no? Na tinatanggap pa rin natin yung mga non-financial information na yun. Kasi maaari natin itong magamit later on. Lalong-lalo na, let's say, for management reporting system. Okay? Sa transaction processing system, may mga information tayo na ipinuprovide dyan, definitely, na hindi naman natin, hindi naman lagi financial in nature. No? Mga, hindi lang naman kasi mga pera or peso value yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. May mga ibang mga detalye because that is a system. And a system, once again, is an integrated unit. No? Okay? Now, Oh, let's proceed. Oh, ito yung mga examples ng MIS applications in functional areas of finance, marketing, distribution, and what? Personnel. Ito pong apat na ito. Financial management, no? marketing system, distribution system, at saka itong personnel na pang-apat, ito po yung ating human resource system or HRS. No? Now, Ano ba yung mga example? Let's say for finance, portfolio management system, capital budgeting. Okay? O, ito usually for, for planning purposes talaga siya, di ba? O, marketing, market analysis, new product development, product analysis. We are talking about products here. So, hindi lamang po lagi ano, mga... Figures yung pinag-uusapan natin because a lot can happen in the company and a lot of items may be important. Yung importance or yung relevance kasi nito, it really depends on the person or on the function or on the department. Maaring yung mga detalya no, sa accounting may not be relevant doon sa marketing or sa distribution vis-a-vis. -vis, no? May mga importante kay marketing na hindi naman importante kay accounting. No? So, of course, there should be a system that can cater the others. 
or for distribution, warehouse organization and scheduling, okay? Delivery scheduling, vehicle loading and allocation models, o papaano naman yan, hindi naman yan makikater ng accounting information system. O pagdating sa tao, sa H HRIS, minsan ang tawag natin dito, no? Human Resource Information System or simple Human Resource System. O minsan, Personal Information System. It really depends kung ano yung tawag ng organization. O dito, Human Resource Management System, HRMS. O ginagamit ito for job skill tracking system, for employee benefit system. Okay, so marami pa pong iba, no? So maraming mga functions sa organization yung hindi ma-cater ng accounting information system. That is why we have the management information system. Now, the question however is this one. Bakit kinakailangan na i-distinguish natin yung AIS versus sa MIS? Okay? The answer here is because of the SOX legislation, US. Okay, US-based. And the SOX, if you are familiar with this, okay, kung narinig na po ninyo ito, or kung hindi man, SOX stands for Sarbanes-Oxley. Okay, which is an act, no? Uh, later on, meron akong ipapakita sa inyo na excerpt from my other video lecture. Okay, ang sinasabi kasi ano, sa SOX legislation is that yung management required po yan. Una, mag-design ng at mag-implement no, ng internal controls over the entire financial reporting process. Ito yung tinatawag natin na ano, no, IFR, uh, sorry, Internal Control Over Financial Reporting, ICFR. Okay? This includes the financial reporting system, the general ledger system, and the transaction processing system, which is yung bumubuo sa ating accounting information system. No? And which, eto kasing mga systems na ito, yung mga subsystems na yon, yung nagsusupply ng data for financial reporting. Another one na nire-require, minamando ng ating SOX, no? is for the management to certify the controls and that the external auditors, which is an external party or third party, express an opinion on control effectiveness. Okay. So hindi lamang po pinapagawa yung management at pinapag-implement ng internal control over financial reporting kung hindi they should certify these controls. Okay? At at pagdating naman sa part ng external auditor o give an opinion over the effectiveness or kung hindi man effective, give an opinion na hindi siya effective. Now because yung mga systems na ito, normally they are integrated. Ibig sabihin, o connect-connectado po yan, ano? O management and auditors need a conceptual view, o conceptual, theoretical view of the information system that distinguishes. And this is really important because sometimes it is, dif it is difficult to distinguish or to identify or to differentiate Alin ba dito yung AIS? Alin ba dito yung MIS? Okay, so they have to determine what are the key processes and areas of risks and legal responsibility. Okay? Kasi may mga ibang mga controls, may mga ibang mga processes that are not major. O, mga minor lang. At on the point of view of the no, controls assessment, Okay, hindi siya ganoon ka-significant. Okay? So without such a model, critical management and audit responsibilities under SOX may not be met. Kasi imagine na no, nahihirapan ka i-distinguish or i-identify alin dito yung AIS, alin dito yung MIS. Eh, ginawa mo lahat na lang. Okay? Eh, hindi yan cost efficient. Hindi yan time efficient. Ano? Hindi siya effective. Kumakain yan sa oras, kumakain sa resources. At syempre, ang nire-report kasi natin for SOX is yung, ano yung mga internal controls over financial reporting. Eh, pati yung mga controls over management information system na, 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 ano mo, no? na nagsama mo na kasi hindi mo alam i-distinguish yung dalawa. So that is important no? na alam natin i-distinguish 
alin dito yung accounting information system at saka alin dito yung management information system. Okay? Now, in terms of the control or of the of this SOX, ano, ito po yan, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. Okay, which was implemented because of serious scandals that happened before that implementation. Ano? So ito po ano yung summary. Sa section 302 ng SOX, ito yung certification wherein the management is required na mag-certify yung organization sa mga internal controls nito on a quarterly and annual basis. Sa section 404 naman, ito yung assessment. Required siya na mag-assess sa effectiveness ng controls through the provision of an annual report. Bukod pa po ito ano, sa responsibility ng auditor na magbigay or mag-express ng opinion. Please take note, ito po ay management responsibility. Okay? By the way, if you want a detailed explanation on this one, I have this from my auditing in a CIS environment na playlist sa aking YouTube channel. Makikita nyo pa rin po yan doon. Okay? So hanggang dito muna po tayo ano, sa part 2 na ito on accounting information system versus no, management information system. So guys, if you have any questions on this one, please let me know, comment down below, or let me know na lang po. Ano, and I'll be happy to assist you. Until the next video lecture, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.